I didn't see you there. Welcome to my channel. <laughs> Hi world and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a tour of my pantry as a minimalist. So it is plant-based but I'm not entirely plant-based. I try and be plant-based 80% of the time and eat whatever I feel like 20% of the time. So that's kind of the rule that I live by. Quick disclaimer, I have had a lot of time. I'm in lockdown in London. If you're wondering what I've been doing in lockdown, this is it. If you like videos on minimalism, intentional living and lifestyle, feel free to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell thing because I'm going to be putting out videos every week now, which is exciting. And yeah, let's just get straight into the video. This is my pantry. But I just wanted to say that everything are in these jars and they're from Amazon. But you can get cheaper alternatives from like Ikea, but I'll link the jars down below. Personally, I love them and they have a little cork lid and it's really thin glass. And they just make everything look so pretty. So I'm just gonna jump right in and show you everything in my pantry. But first I need my little step up, oh, nearly fell. Here's my hot beverages. So my dream is to fill this all up and have like leaf teas and like different things to offer. So I have every single beverage ever available. But for now, this is what we have. So we have filter coffee, matcha, which is amazing. And then cacao and I make hot chocolates with the cacao. So that's it for hot beverages. But yeah, obviously I want to fill this up because I'm English and I need some good English teas. So then we have spices. And with these ones, I've labeled them underneath. So this is garlic powder, chili powder, salt, cayenne pepper, cinnamon, baking powder, paprika, turmeric, chili flakes, rosemary. So yeah, this one's just pretty little dried flowers and they're edible and you can put them on salads or on the top of drinks. And then cumin. So yeah, those are all my spices. I don't have like tons. These are just the ones I use, but I'm sure I'm gonna build it up. Yeah, and I'll keep you updated. I'll do like a little update if I update it all. So this part's my favorite, it's smoothie toppings and powders, and I just love it. That's why it's in like the middle part where I can reach it easily. So here we have chia seeds, coconut, flakes, goji berries, this is a cacao protein powder, like plant-based one. Then we have, this is like spirulina and like wheatgrass. They're from Yours Superfoods, by the way, I'll link them below. Cacao nibs and then pumpkin seeds. This is a acai powder, like a superfood thing. So yeah, this is activated charcoal. You can make like the best detox drink with this and it literally just helps you so much with bloating. You can also use it to whiten your teeth. I've also put like the little directions on the bottom. And then over here, we have my oats and things. So here we have some oats, which I've got really into recently and you can make them really pretty. And then we've got granola. This one's like a maple syrup one. Yeah, and then we have almonds, which are just really good to have when you just like want a good snack in the house. And I really want to try them with dark chocolate and sea salt as well. I saw someone do that. Here we have some pecans, which are kind of like a new thing. I was thinking of making like something with these as well. And then walnuts, which are really good to put on salads. And then we have buckwheat. I was, I was gonna try and make buckwheat pancakes because apparently they're really good for you, but I've not tried that yet. And here we have dates, which are so good for like oats and smoothies and they like sweeten everything up. And then we have flax seeds, again, just so good. And next we have coconut sugar and I love it. I use it in like my coffee in the morning and it's just really good and natural. Yeah, love them all. Okay, so next we have legumes or whatever you call it. I try and stay with kind of whole wheat pastas with like everyday use. This is brown rice. And we have some black turtle beans, which are really good for like Mexican bowls, like burrito bowls and stuff. So love that. Some lentils, I'm not sure how I feel about lentils yet. So I'm just gonna like try these ones and see. And then we have couscous, which is really good in like salads. And then some pasta. And yeah, I just don't think you can go wrong with having pasta in your pantry. So love that. That's everything in my 
pantry. Please let me know if I'm missing anything or if there's anything that you're like, you need to get that, why do you not have that? Um, because I'm very new to being like a cook. It's like in lockdown, I've had a lot of time and I've learned to cook and eat healthy and make things from scratch. And then on occasions, I kind of just do whatever I want. And it's really nice when you only occasionally eat what you want because then you really look forward to it. So yeah, 